Hello, my name's Jane Irving. Welcome to the STEP workout. If you're not familiar with STEP, then I'm going to be showing you exactly what it is in a moment. But I just wanted to tell you why I decided to make this video. I began exercising partly to keep fit, but to be really honest, mostly because I wanted to keep my weight down. So when STEP arrived from the States and turned up at my local gym, advertised as a brilliant calorie burner, I was first in the queue. I've been trying for years to lose an extra 10 pounds or so. After three months of STEP, I lost a stone in weight. And I wasn't alone. It's now been established that a STEP workout is an incredibly efficient way of burning calories. Some studies say it burns off up to 30% more calories than normal aerobics. The other superb thing about it is that it's very low impact, which means that unlike running, it doesn't hammer your knees and joints. An hour of STEP burns off the same number of calories as a seven and a half mile run, but has the same impact on your knees as walking. It's estimated that an hour of step burns off around 700 calories. Now, there are 3,500 calories in a pound of fat. Therefore, if you do this video five times a week, you will burn off a pound of fat a week. That's without eating any less, and obviously without eating any more. Now, there are quite a few myths about exercise and weight loss. One is that you can't lose weight through exercise. Well, this is clearly absurd because fat is just stored energy, which your muscles use as fuel when they're called on to work. Obviously, the more exercise you do, the more fat you burn up. You only start to store fat when you take in more energy in the form of calories than you burn up. Most women can maintain their body weight on 2,000 calories a day, most men around 3,000 calories. Another myth is that you can lose weight by exercising specific bits of your body. Sport reducing fat is physiologically impossible. If we lost weight from the parts of our body we exercise the most, we'd all have fat earlobes, if you think about it. One final fascinating point about losing weight is that it's not actually the most demanding exercise that burns the most calories. Research has shown that you burn most calories when you keep exercising at a steady pace and can still breathe easily. That's aerobic exercise. When you get really out of breath, your body switches into what's called the anaerobic state, which means it hangs on to its fat stores for dear life. So not only is being out of breath unpleasant, it means that you're not burning as many calories. So please, if you do get out of breath, then slow down. Don't do the arm exercises, which automatically raise the intensity of the exercise. And if need be, get off the step and march. But do try and keep moving, however gently, because that way you keep on burning calories. Oh, and before you get started, it's always a good idea to consult a doctor first. And finally, the really great thing about step is it's fun which is pretty important because, let's face it, if exercise is a chore, then you just don't bother to stick to it. Anyway, come with me and let me show you my humble little workout room. It's sweet, isn't it? <laughs> it's the only way to get changed, really, isn't it? Anyway, before we start, I thought I'd give you a few tips on how to actually use the step. So starting with your right leg, always make sure that your foot is in the centre of the box, that you lean into it as you step up, always leading with the heel, and don't lock the legs fully out. Now, the thing I found really tricky when I was beginning to do step at first was learning how to change legs. So what we'll do is start with the basic step. So again, with the right leg, just step up and up and off and off. It's a bit like how a child would climb up a set of stairs. And just get used to the feel of that, and then we'll change to the other leg. And how we do that is that we tap the toe of the other leg and then lead off on it. And we're going to give you four warnings to do that. That's four. That's three. That's two, final warning, and now tap and change and lead off on the other leg. Always try and keep a good tall position when you're doing this. 
Okay, now you've got used to the feel of that. Come off the box and we'll show the other basic step, which is a knee lift, which funnily enough involves lifting the knee. And it goes like this. And if you just want to watch it first and then pick it up as you feel and just follow. Okay. And we'll be using both those steps a lot later on in the video. Now, we've got a couple of incentives for you to keep you going. Every five minutes, a clock will appear so that you can see how far you've got and how far you've got to go. And most fun of all, a calorie counter so that you can see how many cream cakes you've burnt off. Not that you dream of touching them, of course. Anyway, it's a bit lonely in here, so I thought I'd get a few friends to drop in. <laughs> Helen and Paul, and Susie and Fabby. But let me warn you that they are very fit. So it's no shame if it takes you a while before you can keep up with them. You may only want to do five minutes of stepping at first, and then you can spin onto the cool down section, which you can spot on fast forward because the picture is blue, and you can build it up gradually. But whatever you do, do not miss out on the warm up. Okay, now do resist the temptation to skip this bit because it's actually quite dangerous for your muscles if you go straight into frenetic activity without warming them up gradually. And actually some recent research has suggested that the most important muscle in your body, your heart, doesn't like it too much either. So for all those reasons, let's start with our feet wide apart and your knees should be over your heels rather than over your toes. And the first bit's easy, we're just going to breathe in on the way up and out on the way down. In and out. Let's just get some extra oxygen into the body, circulating around into the muscles, which are going to need it soon. That's the last breath out. Okay, now let's start just gently toe tapping right to left, right to left. Now bring in a single shoulder lift. It's brilliant for getting rid of all that tension that's built up in the neck and the shoulders. Okay, now doubles. Feel all your knobbly bits being worn away. Okay, now, single shoulder circles. Really start to move the muscles in between your shoulder blades now. And doubles. Now take the arms forward. And this is a raise that we're going to use later on in the stepping. Now shoulder press forward, we're going to do some singles first of all. And now doubles. And now one of each. Okay, next time we do the doubles, we're going to slide the feet together. That's now. And stay where you are for the singles. And slide the feet together for the doubles. And again. And next time when we do the doubles, we're going to travel to the right. And back. And out again. Stay where you are for the singles. Move back to the doubles. And out again. And back for the last time. Final two singles. And now stretch. This is brilliant for getting muscles all loosened up in your middle back. Now add some resistance. I'm going to go swimming. Okay, now reach for the cobwebs. And now doubles. And singles again. And doubles again. And strangely, singles again. Okay, next time you do the singles, kick your heel to your bum. Slide the feet together for the doubles. Okay. And again. OK, 
Okay, this is the last set of doubles, but keep your feet the same, but straighten your arms. That's it. Now let's look at your biceps. Woo. Now let's put them together. And now it's really time to say hello to the box. So just start tapping the box in the corners. And you should be thoroughly warmed up by now. I remember when aerobics teachers used to say that to me, I used to think, warmed up, I'm nearly dead. Anyway, you can stop now. And what we're going to do now is start warming out and stretching those muscles. So we'll start with the right leg. So if you bend the supporting leg, we're actually stretching the hamstring muscle at the top of the thigh there. So keep the foot flexed. Try not to lock it out. It's probably best if you keep your hands on the other leg to do that. And just hold it there. Now step onto the step and take the back leg well back. Now this is stretching the calf. And if you just release the knee slightly, you can really feel the stretch in the calf muscle. And just hold it there. And now really bend your knee down so that you can feel the stretch in the front muscle, the quadricep. And at the same time, Let's have a stretch for in between the shoulder blades across the back. So just take your arms out and hold it there. Marvellous. Okay, come up on the box and take a step out. And now keep your knee bent, but make sure again that it's over your heel, not over your toe. And we'll stretch the inner thigh. Make sure this knee is soft so it doesn't get locked out. And just hold it there and then wiggle in. Come back on the box, take a step back and we'll do the other leg. Again, bend the supporting leg and flex the foot. And just feel that stretch in the hamstring at the back. Never bounce when you do stretching. It used to be very uh, popular. It's um, well outlawed now. It's called ballistic stretching and apparently it stretches the muscles two ways at once, which they don't like. Okay, now take a big step back. And again, stretch out that calf muscle. And again, release the knee slightly and you can feel the stretch more. Now take the knee right down. So you can feel the stretch in the front of the thigh. And let's take the stretch upwards now. Lots of plunking going on around my shoulder, I don't know about you. Okay, come up on the box and take a big step out. And again, bend that knee over the heel rather than the toe and stretch the inner thigh. Okay, well I think you're well and truly warmed up and stretched. I'm ready to do some stepping. Okay, you're almost ready to start stepping, but before you do, please have a big drink of water. And in fact, have some water nearby you, because believe me, you're going to sweat during this. Now, I'm going to give you loads of warnings throughout of when we change or do anything different, usually a warning of four. But first of all, let's just start marching on the spot and get the feel of that before we step up on the box. We're going to step up onto the right foot first, in four, in three, in two, in one, and up you go. It's probably best to have your hands on your hips, first of all, so you can just concentrate on the feet. Keep the foot in the centre of the box. Make sure your heel's on the box, not hanging off. And try and keep a good upright position so that you really work the muscles of the thighs and buttocks. And burn those calories. Look how many you've burnt already. Now this is the basic step. Once you've got this cracked, you're there. So just stick with it. If you don't get it at first, just keep on watching. Try and mirror everything that we do. It makes it much easier. Okay, now obviously if we carried on like this, we'd have one thigh larger than the other. So uh, we better change at some point onto the other leg. Now we showed you that earlier on, but we'll give you lots of warning again. We'll give you a warning of four, of three, of two, of one, and tap and change. Yes, you're on the other leg. Marvellous. And if you're not on the other leg, don't worry, you won't get there. So just keep going with this. And if you do keep tall, you can really feel the difference. You can see those bits that you're using. Okay, we'll have another go at changing in a little while. See if you've cracked it in four, in three, 
in two, in one, and tap and change. Off you go. Okay, let's introduce an arm movement now. Just start off gently pumping the arms. And if you find arm movements too much in the beginning, then just concentrate on the feet. Bring them in later on your 57th attempt. Okay, we'll go for another change of leg shortly. In fact, in four. Three. Two. One. And tap and change. And I think you should start to feel those biceps moving a bit more now, so really clench them and bring up the intensity of that movement. So bring it forward check out your biceps. I think we could go for another leg change actually. In four, in three, in two, in one and tap and change. Just keep the arms well up, make sure your elbows are well up so you're really using that muscle. And just to be kind to you, in case you're feeling faint, maybe we should take it out. And put your hands back on your hips in four. In three. In two. In one. Okay. So it's back to basic step. And now we're going to show you a different arm movement. And it's the press down from the chin. We're going to do that in four. That's four. That's three. That's two. That's one, and here we go. So just stick with this for a while. And then we're going to change feet. In four. In three. In two. In one and tap and change. Brilliant. Now we're going to take the arms out in four and show you a different arm movement. That's four. That's three. That's two. That's one. Arms out. And now we're going to do a forward shoulder press in four. In three. In two. In one. And here we go. for working those muscles in between your shoulders as well actually get rid of some more tension and then we're going to put the moves together okay so really use those arm and shoulder muscles to push this forward and then we're going to put the downy and the crossy bits together and we're going to do that in four in three in two in one and down on the way up and across on the way down okay have you got the hang of that good so i want you to take your arms out in four in three in two one. Just keep your hands on your hips and we'll stick with basic step while I tell you about the new step we're going to do. It's called the box step, probably because you step wide on the box. So you just take your feet wide. And we're going to do that in four, in three, in two, in one. So step wide. And keep your feet in a sort of V-shape, so they come back on the ground in a V-shape. Stick with it. So we're going to do oodles of these, so you get the hang of it. But obviously if we did loads on this leg, this leg would get more tired, so we better change. In four. In three. In two. 
two, in one, and tap and change. You're on the other leg. Now we're going to introduce arm movements which match the legs. If you're freaked out by that idea, ignore it and pick it up another time. Okay, it goes like this. Just pick it up when you can. Fun, isn't it? Okay, and just when you've got used to that, we're going to take the arms out in four, in three, in two, in one. So bring the arms back onto the hips, and now in four, we're going to go back to basic step. That's four, that's three, that's two, that's one, and back to basic step. Just to make life more complicated, in a little while we're going to add some arms that go with this bit. And I'm going to show you them first and you watch and pick up when you can. In four, in three, in two, in one, and they go like this. Focus on the feet if you can't get the hands. Let's change the leg in four, in three, in two, in one, and tap and change to keep the arms. And then, very shortly, we're going to put both those movements together. But to make it a little bit easier, let's lose the hands and put them on the hips. And then I'll count you into the double movement. So we go wide, wide, middle, middle. Wide, wide, middle, middle, including those arm movements. In four, in three, in two, in one, and here we go. So it's wide, wide, middle, middle. Wide, wide, middle, middle. Never catch on as a lyric, would it? Wide, wide. about this you'll probably be lost just kind of follow it and you'll get it if I was going to be really cruel I'd ask you to change feet while we're doing this but I won't do that to you okay so in four we're going to put the hands back on the hips that's four that's three that's two that's one so hands on the hips and back into basic step. And we've been on this leg for quite a while, I think, so we better change that in four. That's four. That's three. That's two. And that's one. And tap and change. Right, we're going to reintroduce you to that knee lift which we showed you at the beginning of the tape. And we're going to change to that. And in a way, it's easier because you're alternating your feet. So we're going to do that in four, in three, in two, in one, and change. So lift and lift. Now we're going to bring in that arm press movement, chin down, in four, in three, in two, in one. Okay, stick with that, and then we're going to go into a forward press. In four. In three. In two. In one. And forward. Really try and keep a nice tall position. 
And now we're going to combine the two in four, in three, in two, and one. Now in four, we're going to take the arms out and just keep with basic lifting. That's four. That's three. That's two. That's one. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start pivoting the knees sideways. It goes like this. So just watch and join in when you can. And then we're going to start going in the direction of the knees. So just start pivoting outwards. Exposing your bottom slightly. And then, very shortly, we're going to introduce a new arm move, which is a push upwards. In four. In three. In two. In one. Next time. That's it. Now, if you're feeling bold, you can change this to a move in the middle as well. After four, three, two, one. Now. And that's it. This obviously raises the intensity of it. Anything that lifts your arms over your head does that. So if you don't feel very intense today, just don't do it. And we're going to move from this into alternate elbows and knees. In four. In three. In two. In one. This time. Okay. Got the hang of that. Now let's move back to basic step. Knee lift, I should say, really. That's three. That's two. That's one. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is a hamstring curl, which to you and me means kicking backwards, really. In four. In three. In two. In one. Next time. Okay, let's do something with those arms now. Let's bring them in. We're going to do what's called a tricep press, which means basically pushing your arm backwards after four, after three, after two, after one. This time. Okay, stick with that get the feel of it and then we'll confuse you completely by changing it all together. But we're going to show you a new move in a moment which exercises the inner thigh which is good news. But first let's lose the arms in four, in three, in two, in one, this time. Okay, we're going to do this outer move with the inner thigh in four. Four, and three, and two, and one. And here we go, let's take it out. And really feel that you're using your buttocks muscle, or muscle. It's supposed to be the biggest muscle in the body, it certainly is in my body. See if you can work on it. Okay, we'll introduce some arms shortly. They go out the same direction as the leg. In four. In three. In two. In one. This time. Really feel that you're using those muscles. And just check out the calorie counter and see how many calories you've burnt on.
Okay, we'll lose the arms in four, in three, in two, in one, this time. What we're going to do next is return to basic knee lifts. In four, in three, in two, in one, this time. And let me tell you what we're going to do after that. We're going to do something called repeaters, which means that you repeat the action three times to each side. And we're going to start with toe taps onto the floor in four, in three, in two, in one. So three toe taps. Two, three, and the other side. Two, three, and again. And now we're going to introduce an arm movement, shoulder press forward, which we've done before, this time. Really push your arms forward, get the most out of the exercise. And after a couple more of these, we're going to lose the arms, stay with the basic knee lift. Okay, after this time, we'll lose the arms. Okay, now let's go into hamstring curls. After two. That was two. This is one. Okay, next time. And again. And now we're going to bring in the arms. And let's try set press again. The old favourite. Two, and three, and one, and two, and three, and one, and two, and three. It's really quite an intense exercise this, so you can really feel it move, moving <laughs> and working the leg muscles. Now take the arms out. And now we're going to do the inner thigh again, repeated. After two, that's two. This is one, so it's next time. And move. Two, and three. Don't just say that if you're not sweating by now, there's something wrong with you. Okay, we're going to lose the arms next time. Just drop them, okay? And very shortly, we're going to return to single knee raises. After four, three, two, this is one. And now wiggle those knees round till they're facing forward. And then we're going to return to basic step in four, in three, in two, in one. Okay. And now we're going to tapping every time, which personally I always find easier. We'll do that in four, in three, in two, in one. Okay, tap and change, and tap and change, and tap and change. Okay, and very gradually, we're going to start exposing our bottoms again. Pivot round. And we're going to gradually widen the step on the box and off. So take those feet wider on the step until you're in the corners. And now we're going to take something we like to call in a profession a clap. 
After four, three, two, one. Next time, let's have some applause. Okay. When you got used to applauding yourself, why don't we move the feet a little wider? It's very 42nd Street, I think. If you're thoroughly exhausted by now, spin onto the cool down and congratulate yourself. Okay, next time we're going to do single arm raises. That's not this time, that's this time. <laughs> Caught a couple of you out there, including myself. Okay. And reach out as far as you can. Give a nice stretch in the side. They deserve to be stretched. <laughs> Very soon, we're going to go into doubles. After four, after three, after two, after one, and doubles. It's easier to have a raise in the middle because you get a rhythm of it. It's also good for getting you nice and sweaty. Okay, we're going to bring it down into single arms very shortly. In four. In three. In two. In one. Okay. And bring it in slightly. Just start to bring your feet in. And then you can clap yourself again. In four. In three, in two, in one. Okay, just start to make that step a little smaller again. Exposing the buttocks as you go. And then start to straighten it up. enough clapping, don't you? This is nice and easy, isn't it? I think we'll stick with this for a while. Oh no, let's go back to basic step. In four. In three. In two. In one. Okay, this time. We've got something by way of a rest coming up now, you'll be pleased to hear. What we're going to do, when I tell you, is we're going to get off the box and we're going to change it around so that it's facing that way rather than that way. And that's in four. In three. In two. In one, this time. Okay? Now, obviously, make sure you've got bent knees rather than straight knees. We don't want you mucking your back up. And turn it around. And then get back onto the step and just march it out. Okay, now let me tell you what we're doing next. We're going to do a side step to each side where you tap your toe on the floor each time. And we're going to go to the right first. In four. In three. In two. In one, off we go. Try and keep a nice tall position while you're doing this. Maximise the use of those all important muscles and burn that fat. Okay, we're going to do something for the inner thigh now. Very shortly, we're going to start flexing the foot on the box in four. That's three. That's two. That's one. This time. So flex the foot on the box every time. And we should probably have some arms in here, I think. So what we're going to do is a combination 
on the biceps and arms forward. So if you want to watch that first and then see how you do and join in when you can. Okay, here we go. Okay, and if you're a real glutton for punishment, you can make it even harder by raising your knee in the middle. So for all those masochists, we'll do that in four, in three, in two, in one, next time. Okay. I think that's enough of that. So let's just go back now to basic step. And then very shortly, we should be getting on the box and I'm going to show you a new step, which is a side step lunge thing. So if you want to get on the box and march it out in four, in three, in two, in one, and this time. Okay, so let me show you what we're going to do. We're going to lunge with the foot to every side, singly. Here we go. And if you try not to press the heel down into the floor, because it's that bad old ballistic stretching again, which we don't want. And to stop you getting bored doing this, we'll introduce an arm press move forward in four, in three, in two, in one, this time. And stop complacency creeping in. Let me give you due warning. We're going to do something else shortly. You can start by marching it out on the top when I, when I tell you. And I'll show you what it is, okay? So that's in four, in three, in two, in one. Okay, march it out on the top. And this is called the straddle step. I think you can guess why. So let me show you how it goes. You straddle to each side like this. That's it. Just get the feel of that. And we'll try a foot change. And this time you tap and change on the top of the box. In four. In three. In two. In one. Tap and change. Now let's bring some arms in. Just very simple arm movements. Okay, take it out. It's all going very well so far, isn't it? <laughs> Brilliant, you got here, you've done the most difficult bit. This is the nice bit now, because we're going to cool down. It should be on your box. What we're going to do is just shuffle towards the back and take your right heel, and we're just going to roll that heel up and down. And we don't really want you to press that heel down yet. Just roll it up and down very gently, because we don't want to get into ballistic stretching again, do we? Okay, now take the heel down and just hold it there and feel the stretch. At the same time, let's give a stretch to the back of that upper arm, the old tricep. So push that back and feel the stretch there and just hold that. Okay, and let's do that on the other side. So take your left foot back and again, let's go up and down. stretch in the opposite arm again. And hopefully your breathing should start returning to normal by now. 
Okay, now what we're going to do is take some backward steps. One foot on, one foot off, or off and on even. Okay, let's start first with the right foot. you have to stretch and keep the body moving at the end of exercise is to get those muscles back to their normal size because vigorous exercise actually shortens them. Okay, and the next time we're going to keep the right foot on the blocks and take another stretch this time. So take that other leg back and feel the stretch in the calf just like we did at the beginning. Release it slightly if you want more of a stretch. And now we're going to take the arms up and down. So let's go up and down. Let's in and out. In. So now let's bring the heel up with it. So we go up and down. more times. Okay, last time with this. And this time, just take that knee down, just like we did at the beginning, so you can feel the stretch on that front muscle. And just hold it there. And at the same time, let's take a stretch forward, so we have a nice stretch in between the shoulders. We're going to take those backward steps again. And back. And back. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. This time. So take that other leg back. Give the calf a good stretch out. Keep your heel on the ground. Release the knee. Okay, let's add some arms. Let's go up and down. Up and down. Regulate your breathing in and out. In and out. Now take it up with the heel. Up. We'll take a stretch upwards as we do that. So let's take the arms and stretch up. Is that wonderful? Okay. And that's it. So take the arms down and step off the box. And now we'll just take some nice lunges, starting to the right. Okay. And to the left. And then hold it this time. What you should do now is just take your arm up and stretch up to the ceiling and feel a nice stretch along that side. And now over to the other side. And take that arm up and really feel that stretch. Okay, and come down. And now we're going to do some breaths in. So let's go in. Okay, you're all chilled out and stretched out. This is the bit where you get to have washboard stomach muscles, honestly. What you do need, though, is a nice soft piece of ground to lie on. So, having found it, let's go and lie on it. And if you can put your heels on the box and lie back and hands behind the head, 
but make sure that you don't use the shoulders to sort of wrench yourself forward. You are actually using your stomach muscles. And really have a sense when you're doing it that your stomach muscles are moving together, really scrunching together. And do try and get your chin onto your chest so that you don't injure your back, okay? Here we go, so let's go up for a count of two. And one, and two, and back, and up, and down. And breathe out on the way up, in on the way back. Out, and in, and up, and down. more and I think we've had enough of this. Okay, final one. And out and pull the knees into the chest. Take a little breather and if it becomes agony at any stage, just stop and take the knees into your chest. Okay, now what we're going to do next is we're going to bring the, he the knees into the chest alternately. So if we do that now, so if you take your heels back onto the box, hands behind your head and we'll start with the right leg. So bring the right leg into the chest. Here we go. And in and back. Another left, in and back. And in and back. And if that seems easy, it is. And in and back. And now we're going to introduce the shoulders. So here we go. So if you come up to meet your knees on this one. And into the knee and back. And into the knee and back. Try and get the knee on your chest. And keep that breathing nice and steady. Out. And in. And out. And in. more of these and I think we'll have a little rest. In and out and final one. In and out and now bring your knees into your chest and just hold it there and recover. And let me tell you the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take your right foot and place it on your left thigh and we're going to work alternately elbows over to knees okay so if you'd like to put your left leg back put your right foot on your left thigh Okay, take your hands behind your head and now move your left elbow over to your right knee. Okay, here we go. And one, two, three, four, up. One, two, and back. And up, and back. And up, and down. And down. Try and keep your knee away from you so you're moving towards your knee rather than your knee towards your arm and back two more of these up and down final one up and down okay now reach forward and grab the other side and if you can Bring it into your chest and you should feel this wonderful stretch on the outer side. So just hold it there, keep the stretch and now release the leg back onto the box and we're going to swap over. So left foot on right thigh, hands behind the head and we're going off towards that left knee now. Okay, up, two and down, two. And up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Stick with it. And down. And up and down. And again, up and down. And a couple more. That's two. This is the last time. 
them back and now reach forward again and grab that thigh and bring it in towards the chest so you can feel that stretch on the outer leg here. Okay, and just hold it there. Okay, and that's it. Heels together. Down on the floor. Pull yourself up. Balance. Feet together and then come up one vertebra at a time. Just very gently. And turn around. And now we'll just take a nice stretch forward to stretch out the muscles in between the shoulder blades. Just hold that. Make sure your back is rounded. You can drop your chin onto your chest if you like. Okay, hands back on hips. And now we're just going to take the head from side to side to really ease out those final bits of tension in the neck. So we're going to your right first. So take it over very gently and to the other side and over and to the other side last time now and roll the head forward and round to the other side and back and again roll it round and the final time on the head roll And now let's just take some deep breaths. So feet wide apart, and let's breathe in on the way up. So in, and out on the way down. And in, on the way up, and out on the way down. And final breath, in on the way up, and out on the way down. And that's it. Brilliant. I think you deserve a round of applause, actually. Well done. Well, we're joined now by Dr. Louisa Dillner to talk about step and aerobic exercise in general. And I just wonder what you think of step as a form of exercise. Well, I think it's a very good form of exercise because it's the sort of exercise which is called low impact. And um, I think the trend now is very much more towards low impact, whereas it used to be towards high impact, which involved more jolting of the body and really a more severe form of exercise. I think that um, low impact is a sort of exercise that everyone can enjoy. You don't have to be terribly fit straight away to get good benefits from it. I actually heard some recent research that said that dieting is bad for you. Well, I think dieting can be bad for you. I think that what happens is that people tend to say, right, I'm going to cut out lots of foods indiscriminately just to have a low intake of calories and what happens is that you start off losing lots of weight and think I'm doing terribly well but really what you're losing is water so that you can lose about five pounds in a week but it's really water so you start eating normally again and it goes back on and so people get discouraged and really you need to exercise as well as limit your intakes. It's very much a balance between the amount of energy you take in and the amount of energy that you put out. Now, apart from losing weight, what other benefits would you get from an aerobic exercise like STEP? Well, I think that it tones your body, really, and um, it should get rid over quite a few months of um, the amount of fat that is deposited in your body and should really give you a leaner body mass, as it's called. That means that the weight that you carry is more muscle than fat, which is why it takes a bit longer when you exercise to really lose weight. And presumably it's good for your heart and lungs as well. It's very good for your heart and lungs. Taking regular exercises means that you have much less chance of getting coronary heart disease and diabetes and high blood pressure, all those things. Dr. Louisa Delmer, thank you very much indeed. That's just about it, but do keep on stepping and burning those calories.